Uh, here, here's why yeah, that's a, a that's a conservative estimate. They had nothing going for them, no nothing worldly going for them. They weren't attractive. They weren't intelligent. They weren't accomplished. They weren't popular. In fact, they were often friendless. They often had devastated families. They had terrible developmental histories. They just had devastated lives, and yet there was still a core of ethical goodness to them that was stunning under the circumstances, miraculous. And so you really. That really takes you aback to see that that can happen, right? To see that sent that essential nobility of the human spirit, um, and so so that's a terrifying thing to see, and then and that that goodness can shine through in places that just look dark and and that no one is attending to. And the next thing you learn is don't impose your notions of someone's destiny on them. You do not know how that person's life should unfold. You're there to help them think that through. You are not there to give them advice. That's It's a theft. Giving someone advice, especially if you're a therapist, is theft. It's like, no, nope, I'm not going down that path. And this is, this is another of the great accomplishments of Freud, because Freud shed new light on the logos in some ways, right? Because Freud understood that true speech heals. Right? I mean, that's his, his entire therapeutic approach is bring people in and don't disturb them when they're trying to tell you something. 